feel like we just found the Bucky's of New Jersey. Just gonna head in here. Let's see what this is all about. They have inside quite a bit different than Bucky's. It's little individual places. But it does have a restroom and that's what we need the most. They have a Carlos a bake shop here. He'll even talk to you. There he is. This evening we are in Rhode Island at the Hampton Inn by Hilton. Welcome to the Ocean State. There's our room. A little more fancy than one that we had for the past nights there in New Jersey. Really nice room here. This hotel has a really nice continental breakfast. Potatoes, bacon, and scrambled eggs. Here are my red velvet mini pancakes. A little syrup, some milk. This morning we're here at the Narragansett Town Beach here in Rhode Island. Came here to see if we could find a little bit of sea glass. a little bag of sea glass and some other we are at the Petrillo's Pizza and Bakery in Warwick, Rhode Island. So dough, some bakery goodness, stromboli. Oh my goodness, those look delicious. Lemon squares. Oh, this looks so good. How's their good. pizza? Um, we're just looking to get a pizza to the bakery pizza. Sure. This is what we purchased. This is what we came here for. Rhode Island bakery style pizza. It is only the, the crust with the sauce on it. No cheese. I've never had anything like this, but it's really tasty. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of garlic. And I am definitely a tomato based kind of person. And it's good. It's, it's not hot, guys. It's a cold pizza. We're here in Warwick, Rhode Island. We're gonna head into the Goodwill and do a little shopping. And records for two ninety nine. dollars It's actually two records. Moment. Houses, little Christmas ornaments, but true to Goodwill prices. A little spendy, $3.99. Little girls from $2.99 all the way up to $7.99. Nice place, guys. Really heavy for $2.99. I've not heard of that brand before. Oh, it's Portugal. Heck yeah, those are nice. Too bad I can't take them. Princess out. House plates and saucers for $14.99. I think it's six large plates and four saucers. Too bad that can't come home with me. Y'all know I, I love my Princess House. She's pretty. $5.99. I think she's a little bit older. Look at her bottom, guys. This guy's, it's a $9.99. Definitely vintage. Thought I would pop in mid video and share with you what I got at the Goodwill. So we got two items. Uh, one of them is vintage and it is these cute little cards. They were 99 cents. These are 10 party invitations. They were originally $1.00. Litchfield, Connecticut, Lil Lilac Hedges, and these are so cool. Let's see, one side was already, one side was already um, done in. Look at these. Y'all know if you watch my channel, I love gold. 
This is a din dinner informal. Look at this. It gives you a place to put the date and the place. Isn't that fun? Can you imagine? We don't even, I mean, we don't send invites. To, can you imagine having a informal dinner and uh, sending all your friends one of these cards to invite them to your dinner? How fun is that? I love it. So I got those for 99 cents. Get these put, put back in here so that nothing happens to them. And then the next thing is just a modern item, a Target product. And uh, let's see. So I had to, I did a lot of cutting as I was packing and getting rid of extra packing uh, material things. You'll see what I'm talking about. So this was, um, you know, the packaging for the products that I got and I just cut it off. I, I cut it off so that I could share with you what it was. It was these um, resellable or reusable sandwich bags. They were $1.99. And so I went ahead and got them. They're Target brand. They were brand new, never been used. They had a bunch of them, so I'm sure they're just stock from Target. But these are great for, they call them sandwich bags, but um, you know, they're good for snacks, for work and that. So I went ahead and picked these up for $1.99, 99 cents a bag. Not bad. You know, they've been having the re reusable bags of the Dollar Tree. Get one of them for $1.25. So these were a dollar each. Not bad. So that is what I got at the Goodwill there in a Warwick. I believe it was Warwick. Warwick, Rhode Island. Dairy Farm and Bakery in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. See these moo cows. Come down the path, they have these little things. So, number one says a cow is born. Gives you some fun facts. They feed the cows. Number three, a fun fact. Our small herd size allows the farmers to have an intimate relationship with each cow. Each one has a unique Personality. A happy, healthy cow produce high quality okay, milk. Cell phone audio tour. You can call the number and enjoy a tour. I don't think we're gonna do that, but that would be cool for the little kids. And they had some baby cows in here. They don't even have them here. Everything's closed up right we're now. Talks about milking the cows. We milk twice a day, every day, even Christmas. Milk is transformed to their creamery via a 150 foot pipeline. Number six, they separate the milk from the cream. Number seven, the milk is hom homogenized. Number eight is the milk is pasteurized. It takes four minutes for the cold raw milk to be separated, homogenized, and pasteurized. Here they have some, some of their cows. Step number nine, they bottle their milk. They use a vintage, vintage 1950s federal filler to bottle all their milks. It can fill six bottles at a time. Fun fact, we use over 150 gallons of milk and cream in our bakery every week. Number 11, bottled milk is sold in our retail store every day of the week. Our milk never leaves the farm until it goes home with you. Right process, our proven process for getting our milk from cow to customer. This barn is the dry cow barn. There's two groups of cows here in the dry barn. One is heifers, which are young female cows that are expecting their first calf. And the second is a group of milking cows that are on vacation for milking while waiting to have their calves. Hi there, big girl. These cows are huge, guys, when you get up close to them. Holy cannoli. There's quite a few of them. Oh, look at her. She's 
She is really breathing. Look how big that one is, guys. That first one, she's big. Wow. Last time we were here, it was close to Halloween, and now it is close to Easter. Look how pretty these cakes are. Look at the one with the like basket weave on it. Cakes. Oh, look at the bee one, two, singing cute. The ombre one. A little moo cow. Look at those. Those are like wedding cakes. Yes. Chocolate fudge. This one's chocolate peanut butter. Peanut butter. Cookie cakes. My kids loved cookie cakes when they were little. Cute. Look at the little rabbit one. Sunflowers. My kitchen's got sunflowers in it. This is $7.99. Little hot plate. Okay. Some samples of that too. Have heavy cream, light cream, coffee milk, milk chocolate. That's good. I love mozzarella. That is Narragansett mozzarella cheese. That is a delicious brand of ice cream. We didn't purchase any sweets because we still have sweets left over from Carlos Bake Shop there in New Jersey. But we did get some chocolate milk and some coffee. Hi, milk. sweet friends. I hope you enjoyed all the footage and shopping along with me at the Goodwill. And um, I just hope you've enjoyed this video series of vacation. Now I wanted to share with you like the ephemera that I saved. And also wanted to share with you the the a sea glass that we bought uh, that we found we didn't buy this um this was from the narragansett um beach there in rhode island and um here it is so some just some pretty rocks that my granddaughter picked out and then some sea glass so this is sea glass is all for her and we just helped her get it all collected she does have a rather um I don't know that it's a large collection, but I've been saving her um, sea glass every time I go to New England. So this, I did get, we did get sea glass in the three different states. And at, I think probably the last, the uh, New Hampshire to Texas uh, day six video, I believe it'll be day six. I'm going to show you all the sea glass side by side um, from the different states. And you can see the different hues, the different color sea glasses that we got at each state. So that's the Rhode Island sea glass. Um, Y'all saw us getting a pizza there at D. Petrillo. Um, that was really good, guys. That pizza was like something I never had before. It's just the the pizza and then the sauce, and the sauce was uh, was garlicky. I was so good, and it wasn't expensive because we got four pieces of the um, of the the pizza, the bakery bakery pizza. I think it was called. I'm not sure. Um, we got that and we got, I think two waters, two or three waters. And it was like $10 and some change. So very reasonable. I kept the bag. This is what our pizzas came in. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. I think we were there in Warwick. 
So saved that little bag. And then the pizza was in, in this like paper, probably like a waxed paper. I just tore a couple pieces off. Um, it's, it's, it's a thick, nice paper. So I got those. They do paper bags there. So uh, our Dollar Tree or my Dollar Tree stuff came in a paper bag. And so I went ahead and cut it out. Uh, of the big, you know, the big grocery bag, the old school big grocery bags. That's what it was in. And um, so I just cut out the Dollar Tree part. And um, then I received for the hotel. So that is it, guys. That is it for for Rhode Island. I um, When I was there in the fall, we spent several days in Rhode Island, got to do a lot of things. But this trip to Rhode Island was kind of, it was a two-day uh, a, like a day and a half and it was kind of condensed and, and we were moving pretty fast, but I do have another video. It should be, I think it's, um, vacation, fall vacation, 2023, um, where we spent more time there in Rhode Island, which was my first time going to Rhode Island in the fall. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the series of videos up till now and, um, beyond. I have, uh, we also went to, um, like I said, we went to the Dollar Tree in Rhode Island. So I will be doing a separate video of a shop with me at Dollar Tree in uh, Rhode Island and the haul for that. So that video will also be coming out. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below if you haven't already. Uh, leave me a comment and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.